Hello guys, I am Asif Ali and you are watching CG How video and in this video I will cover this system in Unreal Engine Niagara how this system works in Unreal Engine Niagara so we will I will explain this how these all modules work so let's start this tutorial First of all subscribe my youtube channel and also click on bell icon so you will receive all new video notification. So I have this empty project in Unreal Engine 5 and I will create a Niagara system fountain FX. So when you create a template with Niagara you will found there is one emitter and one system but if you will create one single emitter with emitter it doesn't have that system it is just an emitter so what is this this is just emitter and in this emitter you have all the things that you can you can like add it uh, you cannot duplicate this emitter you can copy and paste here because this is just hold it can just hold one emitter in it so this is emitter okay but when you create this emitter right click and create the system it will generate this system node and now it can hold as many emitter as you can you can just duplicate this thing and paste so you can hold this so how this work here when you make a system so i'll delete this and i have created this fountain system which has already one emitter and one system okay so first if you click on this you have all the properties here and you can see under system settings first we have the user parameter here and this is empty nothing is here so how to use that so there's two ways to use that uh, first if you want to connect some parameter here in user parameter like you have this velocity that is strength is float and it is random so let make it constant so now the velocity is now thousand and is constant um, float and you can just move your mouse here so it will t show you the type it is float so now in user parameter you can just create a, create a float by click on this plus button and you can name it anything anything like my velocity my well okay and now in here in velocity you can connect this by clicking on this chain and link and user and my well so now this thing is connected with the user parameter and this is by default zero so it's not working and now you can see it's working okay so it's working and second way what you can do if i'll delete this you can just directly click on this chain of any parameter in this whole uh, particle emitter and instead of going to link you can go to make and you can make it user parameter it will take the same name which has here and it will reflect here and you can change the name like vs and it will change the name here also okay so it doesn't matter if this is float or this is vector you can make your parameters like it is thousand and if i make this cone axis a uh, user parameter it will here reflect and i can change the axis and what is the use of these user parameters so let me just show you i'll delete this axis and now i have this 20 uh, sorry the strength is connected with vs so i'll drag this here okay let me make this black so it will be visible properly so you can see the velocity and if i click on this this user parameter will reflect here you can see our right parameter vs and you can add it to like 500 and you have one particle system and if you duplicate this particle system in viewport like if i just press alt and drag i have two but now i can separately change the velocity of each so you know you have just one system here in content browser but you can use it differently in your viewport okay similarly if i open it again and this is the cone angle 
and if I make this also a user parameter save now though both has same angle but I can change the angle of one so now these are completely different particle system within one system so you can modify the value first use is this and second use it has two parameter so if you want to animate these two parameter in blueprint you can go to level blueprint and you can you can just select this emitter in viewport right click here reference and i'll just drag the uh, the wire and type nigra variable and variable and this is a float so you need to take a float and then execution when you want to change it and you can see it has a value and the name parameter so you need to put the same name so i want to change this vs so i'll just i can just type vs vs and you can see when i'm playing because this is connected even begin play it will make the vs value zero although this value is now thousand but if i play it will make it zero or you can just animate it like if you take the timeline and let me just connect it here and connect it here and double click on it create a float this will be your velocity curve you can name it anything and let's take one second and three keys so last key will be zero first key will be zero but middle key will be like thousand okay so i have this curve i can smooth this out and also make this loop and you can now connect this curve here so if i hit play now this will animate the velocity you can see it's increasing it's decreasing again and again so you can use these user parameter in your blueprint also like this and if you don't want to use it in blueprint you can use in cinematics which is the level sequencer so i'll just save this sequencer and here let me just drag it here in sequencer i will click on this and take a reference here add this here actually mm -hmm. click on the track take the niagara component click on the track and you have your parameters here vs parameter so take this and now you can see the value thousand you can increase or decrease if i make if i key it like i key at zero and somewhere here i will increase it to thousand key again then again zero okay if i play now you can see it's animating okay so you can uh, use this user parameter here in your viewport and add it accordingly you can animate through blueprint or sequencer so these were the use of user parameter so i hope this user parameter is clear to you and you can change it like the way you want so like if you make this thing this you if you reset these things and delete these thing here you can make this let me just make this thousand again and the one you can also make this color a user parameter okay so now this is connected with color and here i can change the color to red and i can duplicate this and change it to green okay why it's not pure red okay still pink why okay just make it zero zero and one still pink weird and why it's taking the value okay now it's red i don't know what is the wrong with that so now this is green again it's weird it's not taking the value that i'm putting but it's okay now you have two colors within one emitter system okay cool so user parameter is clear to you now and now we have system properties although it has lots of features but i will just uh, explain and tell you about some basic that are usable for now you don't have to worry about all these things okay so 
there is a warm up that you can use there is a scalability and there is fixed bound and you can use the effect type and these things are just to like for performance like it is showing you the uh, tool tip but i am not going to tell you how it's working because this is slightly uh, uh, i think for now it's difficult to explain all these things so i'll just skip these things i'll just tell you these two three things so now in here uh, you have this so if you are playing it from here if timeline is visible to you at zero particle are here and when i'm stretching it here this is making a shape of fountain in around two seconds but you want at first frame the complete shape of your fountain so you can type the two here so it will just warm up it will prepare that emitter two seconds before starting so you can see in the first frame it is already there okay so this is useful very useful then this fixed bound and scalability so it depends on here so in emitter you have this you know fixed bound and scalability it is for each emitter but if you want to use from the system you can use it so it will work for the whole you need to just use like system and system so now it will take the system thing so it will take this bounding box and it will be the same for your each emitter in this system excuse me okay so warm up and this thing clear if this thing here in emitter state is connected to the system so this will take this bound otherwise this will take the emitter bounding box then we have this system effect type what is this so if if you click here it's not showing anything because we don't have any system effect type so right click here and you need to oops you need to fx and you need to take the effect type and let's rename it to one okay so you have this settings for a uh, effect how it should update and the curl reaction and the emitter scalability and you can use this same setting from a whole bunch of your effects how so like you have this fx1 i rename it and i'll duplicate it fx2 and i'll just open it and let's change the color of this okay you can change the color from here also but it's by default by so you have two emitters these are two different emitters okay and you want to control the spawn rate of these two together uh, or you can like limit if uh, in a studio and company lots of artists working and they don't know the limits of particle system or any scalability values you can just make the effect type and that will use and that will limit the spawn rate on any other setting so they will be stable effect and the whatever they want how they want to use it okay so i have this effect type let me just rename it i think it will be confusing for you what is one what is two so i have this effect type i have two effects so i will open effect one i will go to system properties and i will choose this effect type save nothing will change now and in fx2 i will open and in system properties i will choose the effect type so i have plug in i have linked this effect type in both and if i open this there's lots of settings but i'll just showing you one example like this emitter scalability so now if you will increase this spawn rate to like 10 you can see both increasing together or maybe 0.1 so this is how you can control your whole bunch of effects in just one effect type you can decide the low setting is for the windows or the high setting is for the mac or the linux so you can decide that here for all effects okay so this is clear why is this then we have system spawn and system update how these things work so let me just clear this okay and let me actually delete this thing 
okay it is linked it's showing it is linked but i have also removed but it's okay let's make this default value one so it will be the same it doesn't took it doesn't take this it is weird it is weird let me just delete these so let me just delete all these if not working properly okay let it be so i'll just take a one more fountain some issues in ue5 right now so you have this fountain again and i need to tell you i, I was telling you the system spawn and system update so system spawn is link all the modules in your particle spawn will link to the system spawn all your modules in the particle update will link to the system update and what is the benefit of that so like you have two emitter one emitter in within one system you have two emitters and this emitter is red and you have and let me call it red and duplicate this emitter is green and let me just make it green and let me just move it slightly okay but now these have different color but you want the same velocity so like client told you to just decrease the both velocity on both emitters so you are making it okay this is 200 this is 300 now you will go into this okay this is 200 300 so if you have like 20 emitters you will do the same so how to make the instance module like in cascade so this is come here you i'll just reset this path and this one i will just click on this and make this system and you can see this is connected to the system velocity so now if you go to the parameter and you go to the system you can see the velocity strength here and just drag it to your system spawn and now the default is zero and you can make it you can make it like thousand so now it's working for red okay and now if i go to green and link it with the same to link there is two way you can click here and you can link and system and you can choose from here or you can just directly drag from here so now both are connected with the same module and now you can decrease or increase within your system so this is like an instance you can link anything that you want and it's not necessary this module name is velocity strength so you can also you can just is connected to the velocity strength you can also connect it to the angle any floor it should be the same type it is float so you can connect it to the any float so like if i connect this copy this and paste this to angle you can see it also changed the angle of red one not green one because i didn't do it, but if i connect it's also changing the angle of this so if i make the angle lesser it will also make the velocity lesser so this is how it works so this was from for the system spawn and same way it works for the system update nothing is different so by default it was thousand and it was thousand so now you have the gravity and it has minus nine eight zero and it has also so you can just make this one a system and from here you can take this gravity drag it here and this is now you can control minus thousand and you can connect same with here link system gravity so now you can make the gravity zero or you can make gravity very higher okay so these things clear now the system state this is pretty much clear i think it is same thing that you have here but you can this works like an instance so like i'll just delete this gravity for now delete this gravity for now and also decrease the strength okay so by default you have these settings the loop the infinite and you can see both are infinite and 
if you make this system it will take the system now it will work here so if i make it once the both will just work for the once for five duration let's make it one see now both are connected to the same it's also instance and if you don't make it like system make it self so now you can see the green one is once because that is connected to a system and red one is not and same way there is scalability that is now the system so it will take from here otherwise it will take from here if you make the app this is scalability is basically the lod that i will prefer to make a separate video i'm not going to cover it now but i will make a separate video on scalability in unreal engine niagara so to, for today this is it and i hope you learned something and you liked it if you have any query just comment below the video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel cg how thanks for watching keep learning bye bye